It has now been two months since Leander veteran Charles Nelson received a life-saving kidney transplant. His son Cody was his donor. Both men doing very well. But Nelson and his wife say their battle with the VA to help other vets is far from over. Rebecca Thomas has an update. I feel amazing, like I'm 28. 48-year-old Charles Nelson's health has improved dramatically since his 28-year-old son Cody donated a kidney to him on June 9th. I feel great and getting around well and playing in the pool and work, work, yard work, stuff like that. Things Nelson didn't have the energy to do prior to his transplant surgery at University Hospital in San Antonio. What he doesn't feel great about is how the VA treated him and his son, denying coverage through the CHOICE program because Cody isn't a veteran. I want to see CHOICE, if that's the program they're going to use, just simplify it a little more and get rid of, for transplants that I know of, the veteran, the living donor part of it for all transplants. I want to see them remove that out of there and be able to use it for non veterans. The chairman of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs, which wrote the Veterans Access Choice and Accountability Act of 2014, agrees. In June, Representative Jeff Miller told Fox 7, it seems as if VA has created a technicality that doesn't exist, as basic common sense dictates that in cases of transplants, the donor's medical care is an essential part of the procedure. Attempts to use the program as an excuse to deny veterans care are wrong and contrary to the spirit of the law. The the committee is currently looking into the Nelson's case and how the VA handles transplants in relation to the CHOICE program, which states veterans can use medical facilities of their choice if they live more than 40 miles from a VA hospital. One of the revelations brought about by the inquiry, the VA admitted to the committee it began working on a contract to pay for the Nelson surgery just two days before the procedure. The hospital tells Fox 7, a contract was offered to us on June 8th after Mr. Nelson was admitted to University Hospital and less than a day before he was scheduled to undergo his transplant. To have our attorneys properly review and enter into that contract would have meant delaying his care for a considerable period. So Medicare was billed instead. Charles and his wife Tamara feel the VA never had any intention of paying. That's, no, it's an empty offer. Totally. It's a typical move by the VA. They just, they were tired of receiving bad publicity and they thought, oh, we can hurry up and do this and they won't accept it, so we're okay, but at least it looks like we tried. They know it wasn't going to go through. In Leander, Rebecca Thomas, Fox 7 News.